What is up, guys? My name is Robert Donaldson, and today we are back with episode number 48 of Rob's Best Bets for the date of January 19th, 2023. And as always, you can find me over on Twitter at RobDFB. And if you want more content like this in the future, please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help out a ton. And before we get into today's video, let's go over Wednesday's betting performance. And I can't believe how that played out with UConn blowing a double digit second half lead. And then to end the night, Colorado State does pretty much the same thing and they don't cover the four and a half points in overtime. At some point, these things have to break our way. You have to imagine, I think. But so frustrating to not hit those bets. That said, we have another fun college basketball slate on Thursday, so let's get right into this video. All right, for our first pick of the day, we are headed out to the Summit League, where we have North Dakota State going up against Oral Roberts, and North Dakota State is a team we've been riding quite a bit recently, and for good reason, because they're playing like one of the best mid-majors in college basketball right now, and for that reason, I say we trust Grant Nelson and the Bison getting 7.5 points at home in this matchup for two units. And let's stay off the money line here just because Max Acemus is one of those guys who can just close the show. But I do think the Bison can keep this pretty tight here for our first pick of the day. For our second bet of the day, we are headed down to the A-Sun where we have one of the better games of the day between Kennesaw State and Stetson. And I'll keep this one short. Give me the two and a half points with Kennesaw State. And I think we get a bucket traded contest here. And I'd much rather side with Kennesaw State in a game like that. So let's take the points for two units and let's throw an additional unit down here on the money line as well. For pick number three, we are headed over to the Horizon League where we have a matchup between Oakland and IUPUI. And IUPUI is arguably the worst team in college basketball. And Oakland, as of late, has been showing why we were so high on them entering into the Horizon this season. And Listen, I think the Golden Grizzlies opened the floodgates in this matchup, so give me Oakland here. Laying the 11.5 points on the road for three units for our third pick of the day. For pick number four, we are headed over to the Big Ten, where we have one of the best games of the night between Michigan State and Rutgers. And Michigan State is a team that I think as the season goes on here, proves to be a top 10 team in the country, especially as they continue to get healthy. And I love that the Spartans are only laying a short line here at home coming off of a loss. So let's lay the two and a half points for three units for our fourth pick of the day. For pick number five, we are headed down to the Southland Conference where we have Nichols State taking on McNeese State. And Nichols State has just had a knack of running teams off of their home floor this season. And this McNeese State team is one of the bottom feeders in the Southland Conference. I love that we're only laying a single digit here with a significantly better team at home. So let's take Nickel State laying the nine points for three units for our fifth play of the day. For pick number six, we are headed out to the Pac-12 where we have arguably the game of the night between Arizona State and UCLA. And it's really hard to trust Bobby Hurley teams, but every year it feels like they pull off one of these huge upsets and with them desperately needing a resume builder, this is kind of it. Let's take a shot here with Arizona State getting the four and a half points at home. And for an additional unit, let's sprinkle the money line here as well. For pick number seven, we are headed down to Nashville, Tennessee, where we have Eastern Kentucky going up against Lipscomb. And Lipscomb has one of the better home venues in mid-major basketball. And although EKU is playing some good ball as of late, I think this is where a stop sign gets thrown up and Lipscomb comes away with a win. So let's take Lipscomb laying the three and a half points at home for four units for our seventh play of the day. For pick number eight, we are headed out to New York where we have Hofstra taking on UNC Wilmington. And Wilmington has hit a bit of a lull after their get up game against Charleston. And with Hofstra coming off of a tough road loss, I think this is a really good bounce back spot for them. And they're only laying two and a half points here at home. So Let's lay the points with the pride for four units for our eighth pick of the day. All right, for our final pick of the night, we are headed out to the Big West Conference where we have one of the bigger games of the year so far for the conference between UC Irvine and Hawaii. And I love, and I mean love, the Anteaters here at home. This is only Hawaii's third time playing away from the island, and UC Irvine has the size, length, the physicality to match up really well with the Rainbow Warriors. I love that we're only laying three and a half points here, so let's take UC Irvine for five units for our final pick of the day. 
All that being said, I want to thank all of you for checking out today's video. And if you want to show some love, head on over to Twitter and drop a follow at RobDFB. And feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as well. And in the words of Johnny Doxville in the comments, let's keep getting that bread, y'all. Take it easy.